Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of new makeup releases. Are they going on the wish list or not? Just got my hair cut, so I'm probably going to be playing with it a lot. Speaking of, I'm getting it colored also. My sister does hair, so she does my hair. And the color I'm getting it, she wanted all of the like blue purple to be out. So we're kind of waiting for that. So we cut it, she treated it, and now it's a waiting game, which is horrible. Because when you go in and you want to get your hair done and you have a specific thing you want to leave with, and then it's not possible to complete it in one round, you're sad. So <laughs> anyways, you're probably going to be seeing like some back and forths of it. Long, short, colored, not colored. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be colored though. So we'll see but if I'm playing with it a lot it's because I got it cut and I'm like and I curled it today I'm not sure how I like it I'm not sure I'm not sure anyways this series is inspired by Samantha March's will I buy it series she has got a community playlist where lots of creators get to put their videos and just share these videos with you guys so I will link that down below so you can check it out and then I will also link all the Instagram accounts where I find information from I also do find information from the brands Instagram accounts specifically but I'm probably not gonna link all their Instagram accounts last week I thought this week might be kind of slow on new releases and it actually was but I do have lots of things to talk about I think so I'm going to go through the new makeup releases, but then I'm also going to talk about Ulta's 21 day skincare event that's coming up. So there, there aren't a lot of things from that skincare event that I was really interested in. So I thought I would just mention them in this video. I am like, I almost feel like I need to put out eight videos, nine videos a week. I'm not going to, but that's how many are on like my list of things that I want to get out to you that I... I mean, it doesn't even matter if I have time to film it or not because there's not enough days to post them. So, just thought I would kind of combine that together because I'm not going to do a separate video on on this stuff. I will probably on my Facebook account the like the day that a good skincare item comes up that I would recommend to you. I'll pop it over there with the price and stuff so you can see that it does start Jan January. <laughs> January 6th. Let's go ahead and jump into new releases and then we will get into that. Oh look at here. This just popped up from AMI Hearts Beauty which I actually do have a new release to show you from her. 40% um, off. Take 40. For it looks like it's through the end of the year I think. But let's just go ahead and start with the AMI Hearts Beauty one. It is in black and white. A new palette coming in 2019. 15 brand new babies ready for takeoff. And then next to it she's got um, an alien face, a rocket, an asteroid, a little hand like that. So it looks like something um, outer outer space related. She's got the rocket ship, uh, two dual chromes, three foil pigments, one dual shimmer, three demi matte, two fluoros mattes, so neon. That says they have a neon haze to them, and four opaque mattes. Looks like it's going to be coming around the end of January. I'm really interested to see what this is about. I know that several people who reviewed the matte shades from the Halloween collection did say that there was some more to be desired from them. Yeah, I don't think I am liking this hair. Mm, okay. I mean, I like the length. I don't like how I curled it today. Okay. I think she was, you know, looking to improve the family formula so it looks like maybe she has changed the formula a little for the mattes her duochrome shimmers all of those are so beautiful there was a blue purple look i did and i actually filmed three videos wearing it and every video you guys commented about how beautiful the eye look was i did post a tutorial for it as well i used the shade moon from ami hearts beauty so i'll link that tutorial up here so you guys can check that out but I am really interested to see what that one is. Okay. So next we've got this one. <laughs> we all knew that something like this was coming when they retired the Naked One palette. So this is Naked Reloaded. So it looks like it's the one re... I mean, maybe it's the one replacing that. Maybe it's just the name is Naked Reloaded. But it kind of sounds like they're re reloading the original naked 
Okay, so when I first look at it, I'm like, you know what, that's kind of pretty. And then I see, yeah, it's still kind of pretty. Then I see the swatches for it, so check out these swatches. Does this look like another palette to you? I'm like, are those swatches for the Sultry palette from ABH? That's what it kind of looked like to me. Um, if I were going to choose one, I'd probably choose the ABH one because I like that formula better. But that sure does look a lot like that Sultry palette. It looks a little more warm tone than the Sultry palette. And I haven't seen this one in person or not. Has this released yet? 2019. So it hasn't released yet. It doesn't say exactly when it's going to release. Oh. Eight small pans and four larger pans. Did I see that in the picture? Oh, so the two outside on each ones are larger. That's interesting that they did that because you always have those shades on the Naked palette that run out before the rest of them. Although I probably would have done, there's one that looks like Sin. It's called Angel Fire. Uh, like that really light shimmer one. That probably should have been a, a larger pan. But yeah, I'm not picking that up. I don't have, I don't have any interest in that. I actually, okay. What is happening right now? Okay. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to leave it alone after I get this I'm not gonna get that hair to go down so just gonna try to leave it alone okay it, I wasn't originally gonna get the Norvina palette I ended up picking it up and it was in my top five palettes of 2018 if you want to check that out I'll pop it here so it is this palette this is the subculture pop but uh, I kept going into Ulta and swatching that Sultry palette over and over and over again and I finally came to the conclusion I wasn't going to be purchasing it. So I loved two shades from it, the silver shade and that coral shade. And I just picked up, I needed to order some empty palettes and ColourPop had them 30 or 40 percent off. So I went ahead and picked up a single silver shadow. So I'm going to see how that compares to it. but. Um, I ended up not picking it up, even though I love the ABH formula. I just don't think I'm going to get that much use out of it. I have the Smoky palette from Urban Decay, so I've got a cooler tone palette. So I'm definitely not picking this up if I decided not to pick that one up. But I'm really excited to see them compared to each other in person and see what they look like. Okay, let's move on because we've been talking about that way too long. It's not on the wish list. Then we've got ColourPop released. Okay, I seriously did not think this was a new release when I saw it and then I read more about it and it was said it's available tomorrow. So it was available like three or four days ago. It's the Through My Eyes palette from I Love Sarah II. You can tell I don't know her. This is her third, third makeup collaboration with ColourPop and that's probably one reason that I thought it was. Um, already released. Another reason is it looks like a lot of other ColourPop palettes. This is not going on my wish list. At first when I glanced at it, I thought, you know what, that that does look kind of pretty. And then I saw the swatches and I was like, that does look kind of boring. So that is not going on my wish list, but good for her for having all those collabs with ColourPop. I would love to see them collaborate with someone new in the new year. I know they do a lot of they try to do a lot of collabs, but it seems like it's a lot of the same people over and over again, I feel like. So I would love to see like someone totally new from them. I have two products I wanted to talk about that are not new this week, but I have seen them in a new light. So I wanted to show you guys. This is another picture taken of the Lolita palette. This is still not on my wish list, but remember when it first launched, it looked like a very mauve berry kind of palette with that Lolita shade, but now here it looks like a very orangey burnt orange kind of palette which is what Lolita is so uh, I mean I still don't know what it looks like but I thought that was interesting and then something else I wanted to show you that we talked about last week are those new Stila what are they called shade mystery liquid eyeshadows and the swatches make me super sad I think I said this last week that with all of that clear material, mater I always call it material, what is it? Um, 
ingredients, all of the clear ingredient that's in that bottle, I knew these were going to end up looking diluted looking and they do. Look at that vibrant red shade and then there is no vibrant red shade on that swatch. The blue is not that vibrant, the yellow is not that vibrant. Uh, what they look like to me are shimmer and glows, quite frankly. Not on my wish list, not really interested in that. Now we're going to move on to some new things for this week, but very few. New brand alert, Ripley Official and Makeup by Ola has started their very own uh, cosmetic line. I have not heard of either of these people, but the brushes are what kind of drew my attention in because I think they look beautiful. It's called Envision Cosmetics, and let's see if we have any kind of prices on these. I just think the brushes look really pretty. Uh, okay, so you can't get into the website to see what the prices are, but... Yeah, just wanted to let you guys know about that. Uh, probably not on my wish list because I don't need more brushes, but I think they look, like I think the actual brush part looks like it would be a good brush. So we've got Blush Tribe and Sonia Zarine Makeup Artist. They are coming out with some lashes together. I probably don't need to pick these up, but this does make me think about whatever happened to that Desi Bridal palette that was coming. Do you remember? That was a long time ago, and then they've had some other releases between them. So I don't, is that coming? I don't know, because then I thought they also went to go do the photo shoot. So maybe it's just taking a little bit longer to launch, but I still would like to see what that ends up looking like. Then we've got, oh. Natasha Denona and her little mini, mini, mini five pan palettes for... <laughs> $25. No. This is a neutral palette. I'm pretty sure I have those shades in the Modern Renaissance and probably some other palettes. I do not need it. It launched on December 26th. And this is like mini, like mini, okay? Like mini for $25. I've already said that this Dose of Colors Snow Angel palette should not cost $32. I stand by that. I do own it. <laughs> I think that's outrageous. And these shadows are like a half the size, a quarter of the size. Okay, I don't really know, but they're tiny. Okay, no, not doing it. Uh, let's talk about these. These are from Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Sticks. They're actually not all primer sticks, but I do want to try these because they're an expensive way to try a new primer. Wet n Wild has great products. One is a makeup remover. I would also like to try that because I think it's probably going to be like a cleansing balm, I would guess. And then we've got, um, or it might be good for like taking off liquid lipstick. Then a luminous primer stick, I don't need that. The matte primer stick is what I want to try. It's the pink one. And then there's a hydrating balm stick. That is probably similar to Physician's Formula has one like that definitely don't need that. So I would like to try the matte one and the makeup remover. Those are on the wish list. I think that is cool. I know some people don't like the whole stick idea because then you're, um, for hygiene purposes, I don't, I don't really care. But that reminds me of the new, I didn't ever talk about the Milk Makeup one, but Milk Makeup has got, I'll just pop the picture up here, has got some new masks in a stick form coming out. Uh, to me, the, the price is too steep to pay for them, but I think it's a very cool idea because sometimes masks can be very messy to apply. I like that idea. I'm just not going to be purchasing them. And the is this the last thing I have? No, this one. So I saw this at first, and I'm like, oh, I'm not talking about that. That's a little tiny eyeshadow palette. But then it's a, I saw it's a Velour Lip Powder what is that? <laughs> so I don't know. Is like the one a base and then you put the powder over it? But that is so interesting. It is available now at Nordstrom and it's so strange. It is not on my wish list. That is cool that there are three different colors but I feel like this is a product that would get stuck in a drawer, left in my car, you know like a lipstick or like a stick formula is easy to apply, it's easy to switch out in your purse, 
if you have it in your car, it's easy to pop back on. You don't have to get like, I don't know. This just looks like, to me, it looks like a waste of money because I, it's either going to be too much to use, like too, too many processes to use, or it's going to get lost somewhere. So that is not on my wish list. I had to sneak a couple of these in. I don't know what was going on when I was I was clipping all of my photos that I needed for my video and I guess I forgot to save some of them on my Instagram account so I was going through last night editing and realized I missed some of the things I wanted to talk about. So this is a different day. Uh, I did try out uh, Vanessa's Van Vanity Mystery Pack so that's why I've got two different eye looks on today and I used a different kind of curling iron today so I think I'm liking this a little bit better but I might need to loosen loosen up the curl a little bit so that's what's going on today we just have a few things to talk about before we get into the Ulta Skin event so this one here this is Makeup Maniac Cosmetics so they came out with all of their little quads and I actually thought that those quads looked really cute they are ten dollars each so this here, this is six of their most popular quads, and then the bottom row are unreleased shades. So you get these unreleased shades that are going to be limited edition, I guess. It says there's limited quantities, and then you get the six quads. It is all together $50. So the quads are $10 each, so you are saving money if you get this all together, but by golly, that is big. <laughs> so you're getting 30, 30 shades in it. And I believe the thing about their quad is they each have a matte, a glitter shade, a shimmer, maybe two shimmery shades. So you're getting lots of different formulas in there. But this is not going on my wish list. <laughs> These were not the quads that I was interested in anyway. So at first I was like, ooh, I can get all those quads at a discount. But it is, it is really large and they are not... They are not the quads I was even interested in, so it would be silly for me to purchase that. So that is not going on my wish list. And then we've got this one from Milani Cosmetics. It is going to be $17.99. I actually think that is really pretty. It is a face palette, so it has highlights, blushes, and bronzes for every complexion. I feel like maybe they should have done like two or three different ones so that you're able to use. That's the only thing I don't like about this. When you're creating a highlighting, bronzing, and blush palette for every complexion, that means every person that purchases it can't use the whole palette. Well, maybe the blushes, but everybody doesn't use the same highlighter. Everyone doesn't use the same bronzer, so it's gonna be hard for everyone to be able to take advantage of that palette. I'm probably not picking it up, but it is very pretty. The other thing about this is the shape of it. It just looks like maybe they crammed too many shades in there. There's eight different shades in here and they look they look tiny and oddly shaped that it would be hard to get a brush in there. They're also coming out with a new bronzer, new Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer, matte lip cream, matte lipstick, three new mascaras and brow and a brow pencil oh my gosh they're coming out with a ton of stuff so they've got a bunch of new stuff coming out i wouldn't mind giving something a try from that collection i actually don't think i have no i have a milani do i have a milani blush i have a milani blush and that is all i've ever tried from milani so oh do i have a milani setting powder i did i used it all so maybe i'll give that a try the last thing that i saved on here is a new Super State Full Coverage Powder Foundation. It is going to be a $9.99. It is uh, a very limited number of shades in this. My guess is they'll come out with more because I think their, their Super State Foundation has a lot more shades, I think, right? There's only 11 shades, so it's really there's really not that many shades. I may give this one a try. I really like my Smashbox powder foundation, but I have hit quite a bit of pan. Well, I've hit pan on it. So this may be the one I try after this. Black Moon Cosmetics is releasing some cosmetic eye dust extension shades. So it looks like they already have released them. 
$36 for a trio though. So that means $12 a piece. That is kind of expensive. So this is coming soon. So they, but they are have, going to be having a waitlist sign up. So I don't, that doesn't make sense. Cause if they haven't sold any, why is there a waitlist already? Anyway, I mean, that's, that's kind of irrelevant. So it, it does have a metallic base to it and they are in a tube form. So easier to use than just like a loose, a loose kind of pigment eye dust, but that is probably not going on my wish list. They do retail for $19 a piece. So $36 for three is a deal, but that is still something that I don't really need in my collection right now. So that was all that I had missed that I wanted to talk about. So now we're going to jump back into the yesterday's part. That was almost everything. The last thing I want to talk about is kind of going to segue us into the skincare event at Ulta. And it is this Ola Henriksen toner. So I actually saw, I don't typically look at skincare releases. I saw Samantha March talk about this and then I got kind of interested in it because I am big on Korean skincare and the 10 step skincare process. And I looked it up on Instagram and Beauty Deals BFF had a way to get two of these kits. I'll put the little kit up here too. For $15, free shipping and an extra little thing thing in there. So I actually have a code for, or like a link for that now that you can do that. So I'll link it down below. But you just get, if you spend 30 at Ole Henriksen, you get $15 off and free shipping and an extra product. So this was a good deal for me to try this. I think, so this is the Glow to, Glow to O Dark Spot Toner. So it is a stay on toner with AHAs in it. So I think it's probably going to be similar to my COSRX one. Let me get it. This one from COSRX is the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. And I just use this every night for gentle exfoliation daily. And it seems like this is going to be very similar to that. So I thought I would give that a try. Um, with the coupon and everything, this is cheaper than the COSRX, but long term, this is gonna still be cheaper because this is about $10 for five ounces and it's 28 for six and a half ounces from this one. So definitely more expensive, but I will definitely update you guys on if those are a similar product. I feel like, have I been right in the middle this whole time? Oh my gosh, I hope these pictures weren't so messed up. It's just got a gentle amount of AHAs with some other kind of cooling and relaxing products for your skin, so it's okay to use daily but I'm excited to try it. And then I don't remember what the other product in there I think is a moisturizer. So I'll update you guys on that. Um, if you haven't seen any of my skincare videos and you're interested in Korean skincare or how to use the different steps of the skincare, I'll link my most recent um, day and night routine. And then I also have a whole uh, folder of skincare videos. Some of them are, are from my beginning time. So be gentle <laughs> and then I will have some updated skincare videos coming in 2019 with different products I've been trying and like an updated winter skincare routine so uh, let's just move on here to the Ulta love your skin event so on January 12th I actually think there's two things that are probably a good deal it is remember this starts on January 6th so there's deals every day for about 50% off, a different one every day, and there's going to be more things online as too, online too. This is probably the only day I'm going to talk about it unless I pop it into like a skincare Tuesday video or something. Um, so Juice Beauty has got their stem cellular anti-wrinkle cream half price, so $35. I do really like that, but I still think you can get a really good Korean brand of face cream for cheaper than $35 for 1.7 ounces but that is half price. And then the Murad Environmental Shield um, Serum is gonna be half price for $36. So I know some people really like that and I think Murad's probably a pretty good brand. Oh, Mario Badescu's got Hyaluronic Eye Cream for half price, so $9. I'm probably gonna pick that up. Uh, hyaluronic acid is very hydrating for your skin, so if you've got any kind of dry skin or you just want a simple eye cream, 
you're just getting into eye cream maybe nine dollars is a great price for an eye cream and hyaluronic acid in it is going to be really good for your skin as well so that's probably something i'm going to pick up this is really not a very good love your skin event as usual on the 22nd the juice beauty stem cellular exfoliating spray is half price so 26 dollars i actually I have a whole video um, on my channel dedicated to that showing if it works or not and whether it is the skin just coming off or if it's actually exfoliating or if it's the product just peeling up or it's the actual skin exfoliating. I actually do think it's the skin being exfoliated so if you want to check it out I'll link that here. Uh, my son helped me out in that video. Uh, but I, I probably am not going to pick it up because I don't use it that often. I still have quite a much, quite a much of a bottle left. And then let's see. Oh, the First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty has got their Ultimate Repair Cream kits on sale. So they're t it's $10 for two of the mini sizes, usually $20. I would totally pick that up if I hadn't just picked up my huge, like, I don't know, it's like 18 ounces or something jar, so I don't need any of that this year. Mario Badescu's got a glycolic acid toner. Any kind of acid thing is going to be good for resurfacing your skin. I think that's probably all I would buy. Uh, if you, there are some face oils on sale, and if I can get those for cheap, I do like to use them to clean my lashes off sometimes. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll end up picking up any of those. I'll have to kind of price price investigate to see which one is cheapest for the amount of product in it because it's not I'm not putting it on my skin I'm cleaning off my lashes if there's hard if it's hard to get stuff off with the eye makeup remover I think that's everything for this week's new makeup releases are they going on the wish list as well as some little insight into the Ulta love your skin event starting on January 6th so the only thing on the wish list this week is the wet n wild primer sticks and that's probably good because the low buy started. So we don't need to have a bunch on the wish list. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope that you consider subscribing before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.